Hi, my name is Burns Blacksall. I'm here with Susmita Sahu, one of our finalists for the Basic Cardiovascular Science Council's Early Career Investigator Award. Uh, Susmita, along with the other two finalists presented today in the session, um, her work was performed. Um, she did some of her work in Douglas Sordo's lab, and now she has started her own lab uh, with some American Heart Scientist Development Grant funding. Um, so, Susmita, uh, thanks very much for joining us. Could you just give us a little bit of background on how you got to where you are uh, scientifically in your career? So I finished my PhD in Indian Institute of Technology in India, mm -hmm. and I moved over to the United States for higher studies and doing research, and I started in neurosciences, actually, and I was working with uh, uh, neural stem cells, and uh, then I discovered these fascinating vesicles, which are exosomes, which are nanovesicles, and uh, when I moved from New York to Chicago, I was so smitten by these vesicles that I con decided to continue with them and I met Dr. Losodo and I had a great opportunity to work with the human stem cells. He was running a clinical trial mm -hmm. and uh, we thought to test whether these same stem cells secrete similar vesicles and here I am uh, working with them and trying to understand the mechanism, how they function and what do they do in vivo and in vitro. Excellent. So really briefly, what you presented on to us today was uh, what you kind of touched on, that there are um, from these cells, these CD34 positive cells, and I'll ask you to tell me a little bit about those, that they secrete these exosomes or vesicles that contain factors that are important for the healing of the heart. Could you just educate us a little bit more about the science behind that, and um, then I'll ask you a couple more questions. Yes, so basically uh, these uh, CD34 positive cells are one of the most primitive cells and uh, now we know that stem cell therapy has fascinating future. And uh, so these cells are originated from bone marrow and uh, they are uh, forcefully mobilized to peripheral blood for this particular work done by Dr. Losodo. And uh, these stem cells, they come to the bone marrow and they have show, uh, been shown to recruit at the site of myocardial or ischemic injury. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and they have been, um, people have been studying in relation to new vessel formation when the cells are present, and they induce new uh, blood vessels in the ischemic myocardium. And um, uh, nobody really knew how these cells induce the angiogenic, uh, 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 induce angiogenesis in the ischemic myocardium. Um, some previous work by Dr. Asahara's group has shown that these cells go and integrate into, the, uh, into where the new blood vessels are formed. But the number of cells were so low, it was not explaining why we see a huge functional benefit by so few cells integrated into the blood vessel. And we thought about uh, studying if these cells are secreting paracrine factors. Some other work from other groups has shown that they might be secreting paracrine factor, and we wanted to find out what is in the paracrine factor that the cells secrete out that is really uh, healing the ischemic heart. and. Uh, that is really inducing new blood vessel formation. So these are very tiny vesicles which originate inside the cell cytoplasm and they come out of the cytoplasm when the vesicles that contain this tiny vesicle fuse to the plasma membrane and they are released outside and we found out in our work that these small vesicles contain uh, these small nucle nucleotides called microRNA and this microRNA could induce uh, angiogenesis in the ischemic myocardium. That's essentially my work is. Excellent. So, so you believe the vesicles are secreting factors that um, cause angiogenesis, or they recruit cells that then develop the angiogenesis? So that's an interesting question. We didn't study the new recruitment of cells that uh, we are yet to do this. Mm -hmm. But we know that the vesicles themselves contain the angiogenic factor, which actually induce uh, proliferation of the endothelial cells, a more survival protection from the ischemic stress. Mm -hmm. And now we have some preliminary evidence that these vesicles also are uptaken by the cardiomyocytes. Excellent. So maybe they protect the cardiomyocytes. So we are yet to explore those possibilities. Terrific. So if we were to look into the future, how would your um, research on these vesicles um, secreted, these exosomes, um, save the world from heart failure in a very so, brief answer. So we are at a preliminary stage, but we have applied for a patent application, and mm -hmm. some stem cell uh, companies are really interested in our work and then coming forward to 
really pursue this as a clinical trial, as a researcher, that would be my best hope to see this going to trial and hopefully have positive results for future in saving patients from cardiovascular diseases. Excellent. Well, um, again, this is Susmita Sahu, one of our finalists for the Early Career Investigator Award from the Basic Cardiovascular Sciences Council at our meeting here in Las Vegas this year. Uh, Susmita, thank you very much for spending time with us. It was a thank pleasure. you. My pleasure. Thank you.